Hi everyone, welcome back to GM Details and to the third part in the Corsa Trilogy. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you some magic tricks like this. So keep watching all of it right to the end to pick up some tips and tricks on how to clean your nasty car interior. So far in this series, I've shown you wheel cleaning, pre-washing with snow foam, contact washing, decontamination and some all-in-one paint enhancement on the exterior. So this episode focuses entirely on the interior. I've got fabric seats, carpet mats, floors, plastics and vinyls all to clean with the help of these bad boys. If you like disaster cleaning videos, let's face it, who doesn't? Just sit back and enjoy someone else doing the work for a change. Let's get stuck in. If you're wondering how can anyone let their car get in this state, remember this car hasn't been cleaned in over two years. That's a lot of time for dirt and dust and hair and god knows what else to get trapped in a car. But by the end of this video, the car will be worth double what it is now. Normally with carpet mats, I start off with vacuuming to get the hairs and loose dirt out, then maybe a drill brush to loosen further grime from the fibres, but that's going to take far too long for these mats, especially as they have four of them. So in this case, I've got the rest of the afternoon's good weather to help. I'm going to pressure wash them. So most of the interior vacuuming will be sped up just to save a bit of time and if you don't know by now how to vacuum a car then you're watching the wrong video. But all I'm doing here is removing the loose debris from the carpets. That's why I'm not brushing them as well as vacuuming at this stage as I'm going to wet vac them a bit later on. If you want to know what vacuum I'm using here it's actually a Shark Duo Clean. I'm using this as my Karcher WD-3 is set up for wet extraction at the moment. And as I have this spare in the garage, I thought I'd use it first. It's not too bad, but a lot less suction than the Karcher, but the creviced nozzle is handy for getting down the sides of seats in narrow spaces, as the nozzle is slightly longer than what the Karcher one is. A little tip here is if you have pet hair on the fabric is wearing rubber gloves. Those big marigolds are best, but these ones I'm using have textured finger grips and don't do too bad at dragging the hair out the fabric. Just saves you getting up and finding the pet hair removal tool that you've lost since the last time you put it somewhere. I'm methodically working my way around the car with the crevice nozzle. My method is working from bottom to top on interiors. Let me know in the comments if that's the same as you or do you go from top to bottom? You can use a brush with it too if it'll help you get the dust out of the air vents and around the joints of the trim. I'm using a work stuff soft long bristle brush here. Try saying that when you've had a few. A 
Another product from ABP Auto Care is the Turner Interior Cleaner. If you've been a regular viewer of GM Details, you'll have heard me mention a few products coming in from Poland. Some very impressive ones and prices are excellent, especially after import duties. Try finding American brands under a tenner. So this one's ready to use already, no messing around with dilutions, although I would advise diluting it down for quick maintenance cleans as it's quite concentrated. Best value for this is the 1 litre bottle at around £12 and the 500ml bottle is 9 so it makes sense to go for the litre. This won't convert users of Garage Therapy's interior or Built Hamber Surfex HD users as those are the most popular products of choice when it comes to cleaning interior plastics. This will tempt the people who like to try different things and maybe have pampas grasses in their front gardens. So the positives, it's pH neutral so it won't damage any plastics no matter how delicate. It's antibacterial so useful for cleaning up sneezes. Negatives, it says on the website it doesn't require rinsing. But I do like to always run a damp cloth over no matter what product I've been using on plastics. And this reactivated the soapy residue that was left behind, which I didn't like too much. Maybe after a few days that could dry out and turn powdery, or it might not. I wasn't giving it that chance, so technically I rinsed it. But another positive is, I love the finish it left to the plastics after the damp cloth, and it had a nice pleasant smell while using it as well. With the dry vacuuming done for now, I'm going to wet vac the seats early as I want the maximum time to let them dry so the car can be driven later on without having a soggy bottom. I'm using an antibacterial fabric shampoo with warm water. Apparently that activates the shampoo's chemistry and gives a better clean. I know warm water and cleaning chemicals does have its benefits, so diluted to 20% here. Not that it matters to you as you can't go and buy it as it's been discontinued for a while so I'm using it up rather than throwing it away. So this shitty looking pump sprayer, believe it or not, has been excellent. <laughs> it was bought from Poundland and it's been working well. It's got to be the cheapest pump sprayer ever but I like it. Working in the shampoo with the Amazon white bristle drill brush. That's quite a soft nylon bristle on it, so it's quite good on fabric, but I wouldn't use it on anything like leather, suede or alcantara. Carpets are fine for it too. Now that's now looking a million times better, clean and fresh again. Now while I've got the cleaning materials at the driver's side for now, I'll use the scrub pad with the D-Turner interior cleaner again directly into the pad this time. I'll also keep a bucket of clean water with the rinse microfiber cloth. That helps transfer the dirt and grime from the plastics into the bucket and leaving the surfaces amazingly clean. Works really well. You can also use a cap full of ONR, that's optimum no rinse, in the bucket and you won't even need to dry off the plastic panels either. Another tip for bobbles on the fabric, an old razor, this disposable one will do. Just gently shave the bobbles until you're happy with the results and no, you don't need any shaving foam either. There you go, looks a lot better now. Now if you go for the kit of drill brushes from Amazon, you'll get three different sizes and the smallest one will be ideal for the fabric on the door cards. I'm still using the same fabric antibacterial shampoo.
that's working really well getting that ingrained dirt out of the fabric and we'll come back to the doors later in the video when I'm using the steamer but so far just look at the progress that's been made in the driver cockpit area I'm well pleased with that keep watching though there's so much more to come As I quickly run through cleaning the passenger seat, I'd just like to take this time to thank you all for subscribing and the comments on this series of videos have been awesome. I really enjoyed talking to you all and thank you all for your amazing feedback on the car. Using steam in a car can be really useful when you've got something stubborn to remove like these melted sweets. You do need to be careful when using steam. Number one, obviously, it can burn you, so you have to be vigilant. Also, while there's sometimes gaps in between using it, the steam in the wand can cool and turn back to water, so always test by pressing the trigger outside the car to make sure it's steam that's coming out and not water. But it really does save so much time cleaning sticky stuff out of cubby holes. Just look at the dirt on that cloth. With the final piece of drill brushing and wet vac on the floors, do you know, 
You've seen it all enough times to see what it does. Let's move on to the finishing touches. I'm not normally one for any kind of dressings on the plastics as I like the natural look, but the Corsair's plastic trims are a bit scuffed and this interior dressing from D Turner promises to nourish all surfaces inside the car, such as plastics, vinyl, carbon and rubber. Don't know who's got carbon inside their car, but anyway. It's not a spray product like a lot of interior quick detailers are these days, so application is entrusted to a cotton applicator pad which is ideal, spreads very easily and gives a nice uniform coverage without any streaks, but the website says its main purpose is to enhance the colour and maintain the elements of the plastic, so that sounds as though they're hinting it may nourish the plastic, but only long term testing on it will confirm if it does. Depending on the type of material, it'll leave either a satin or a light gloss effect. It's got UV filters to stop fading and dash cracking, but as I live in Scotland, that's very unlikely to happen, even without using it. And the best part of the description I read that is anti-static. I'm just not that sold on the banana scent, but that's a personal thing. You might like banana scented things. If your plastics are reasonably clean enough already, or you just want to kind of top up the protection that's there, you can just use the interior dressing on its own. It saves you busting out the interior cleaner every time. Just wipe it over, but I'm sceptical as to whether it just masks dirt or actually cleans it. For me though, the real test is on the dash plastics, an area where if it's too shiny, it can be dangerous in bright sunlight due to the reflections. So it looks a little shiny on application, but remember it's still wet and the camera picks that up as shiny. It'd be a definite no for me if it stays that way, but luckily, once it had dried, it actually looked amazing. A really lovely finish to the plastics, and it does actually look refreshed, and hopefully it'll stay that way for a while. The closing shots show the time and effort put into the Corsa makes it very worthwhile indeed. The whole interior is now not only looking clean and fresh, but it also smells it too. The seats have come up lovely with their antibacterial shampoo, the dash and plastics are looking brilliant. I've also changed the cabin pollen filter and there's really only one other thing to do, an aircon sanitizer from Simon is. Good to see it's also effective against COVID-19 SARS virus. So who wants to see what the water was like from the wet vac? Stick around to the end after the titles as it's not for everyone's tastes. So once again, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching the detailing series on this Corsa. It's been fantastic reading and having conversations with you in the comment section. Keep it up. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Till then, happy detailing. Cheerio bye.